Of the half million warplanes built during World War II, less than 6,000 remain. Of that number, only a handful are in flying condition. These surviving relics of aluminum and steel are more than just airplanes to the veterans who flew them in combat and to the men and women who restore and fly them today. They are ghostly reminders of the sacrifices made by one generation to preserve freedom for all future generations. And they fly in honor of those who never return. The legacy of World War II aircraft survives in photographs, motion pictures, and within the pages of history books. But it remains alive through the stories told by the veterans who flew them in war, and by a new generation of men and women who restore and fly them today in peace. I respect people that have that attachment uh, to the symbols and to the, to the machinery that they loved and lived and which they fought for their country. And uh, if they're preserving a part of our history, I salute them for it. Twenty years ago, we were saying, uh, boy, I hope we make it to the 50th anniversary of World War II. I see no reason uh, that we can't uh, continue to fly these airplanes well into the 21st century. I believe uh, we must do everything to teach the young generation there must be no more war. So those airplanes are wonderful to fly, but not for destruction of humans. We never met in our life. Destruction of culture on all over the world, practically. It's important that we memorialize or we keep those things that remind us we didn't get this country for free. There's a price to be paid for liberty and retaining it. Those things we have to remember. And uh, I wish we could turn all of these things into plowshares, but we can't. Let's not look upon it as an instrument of destruction, but it is an instrument that helped to bring us a peace throughout our world. Oh.